Welcome to Kingfield, where Woking take on Nuneaton Town today in their fourth home game of the new season. Woking SCTV is delighted to be sponsored by Scattergoods, and it will be the cards to get this fixture underway here. Looking to bounce back from four consecutive defeats in the last four matches. Here's Adam Newton. Playing the ball into the danger zone and Kevin Betsy with a header. Saved by Ben McNamara. Betsy scored on Tuesday against Hereford. McCallum with this corner. McNamara was um, not convincing there. Eventually headed away by Adam Walker. Free kick into the danger zone and, well, Joe McNerney has to head it away. Long ball forward and it could come to Andy Brown with the effort. Acrobatic effort on goal and just wide of Aaron Howe's far post. Here's Adam Walker and then Brown. Now Walker again. Playing the ball out to Wesley York with a cross, and that's a great opportunity at the back post, and a fantastic save from Aaron Howe to keep that out. And suddenly, Bradley Bubb has laid that off to Lee Sawyer, and working on the counter at the other end of the pitch, here's Gavin McCallum. Fires it in, and he's in the back of the net, and McCallum has his first Woking goal. And Woking take the lead here, thanks to an Excellent counter-attack and a great finish from Gavin McCallum. All stemming from this excellent parry from Aaron Howe. And what a finish this is from McCallum. McNamara was close to it, but he couldn't keep it out. The ball forward towards Suet, and it could come to McCallum. And he will look for the run of Bradley Barr, but he's bombed with the effort, and it's a good save by McNamara. Parkinson in on the challenge. Excellent ball from McCallum. Maybe Bubble will just feel he could have found the back of the net there. Newton will try to clear it, as does uh, Johnson. And Brown forces that into the danger zone. And that was Kyle Perry with the effort. And what a save that was from Aaron Howe. That was absolutely stunning. Parrying it onto his own crossbar. That's an excellent piece of goalkeeping. Pure reactions and back up in time to be there to smother the next effort as well. Good play from Adam Newton. And he will find Kevin Betsy. Now on the run just before the half-time whistle. Got Lee Sawyer alongside him and Bradley Bubb to his right. He will pick out Bubb. And Betsy's in the area, can Bob find him? And it comes to Lee Sawyer! And Woking have a second just on the verge of half-time. And what an important goal that could be. Lee Sawyer's first goal of the season. Great dummy by Betsy, and he made no mistake. And Woking had two goals to the good just before the half-time whistle. Sinclair with the free kick. And Johnson playing the ball into Sawyer. And look for the run of McCallum. McCallum taking on his man, driving it in. Oh, and it couldn't hold it. And Bob with the finish. And Woking had three. McNamara spilling that one. And Bob taking full advantage for his third goal of the season. He's deserved one as well. He's worked hard. And he finishes off with a little dance. A little jig. McNamara won't want to see that one again. Spinning it at the feet of Bob, who very coolly picked his spot. And Woking are three goals to nil ahead now. Thompson Brown amongst the play there, but suddenly working on the counter as Kevin Betsy comes flying forward. Bob's outside of him. He will find him. It's Bradley Bob! It's two for Bob! It's four for Woking, and this is a rout now. Bradley Bubb is on fire. Two goals at the beginning of this second half. Excellent play from Betsy, and Bob made no mistake. Long ball forward, looking for 
Perry, and it could fall to Perry. He never got hold of the shot. Bring the ball over the top, and Perry is onto this, and Aaron Howe is way out of his goal. What a chance this is for Perry. McNerney with the challenge, and the referee's given a penalty. Perry going down in the area. McNerney sliding in, and I wonder what the referee will make of McNerney's punishment here. It's a yellow card for the working centre-back. And it will be Perry himself to take the penalty. But Aaron Howe will tip that onto the post. And Woking still are yet to concede in this match, thanks to three excellent saves from Aaron Howe. Kick on to Brown. Perry was in there. Newton tries to clear. Woking can't get rid of this at the moment. But McCallum will step in and play the ball into Kevin Betsy. And Betsy's on the run now, and he's got Bob with him. And he will pick out the run of the substitute. Brett Williams with the effort, and that's a great save from McNaught McNara. Diving to his left, McCollum will put in the corner. Here's McNerney. Joe McNerney with the turn, gets the shot in. Oh, and he's in the back of the net. And would you believe it, Woking have five, and I think that's Bob's hat trick. I think that's come off of him. I'm not sure how much he knew about it. I think he owes a lot to Joe McNerney's work with that one. He was the one who got the shot in, and that just seems to have deflected off him and passed Mc McNamara. And after 67 minutes, Woking have five, and that can only mean one thing. It's conga time. And Doyle with the... Long ball forward over the top, McNamara has come to get it, and Bubs uh, right at his feet and he's got around him, it's Bradley Bubb for four goals for him and six for Woking, and this is unbelievable now. What was the goalkeeper doing there? I do not know, but Bubb took full advantage, and as you can see, he has four. Well, just get rid of it, clear it. But no. And Bob just got in there and stole the ball away from him and coolly placed it into the back of the net. Well, after four defeats, what a performance this is. And Bradley Bubb has scored four goals here in the second half and he uh, will be rested now as Loic Perez gets the chance to come on. And this could come to Williams with the effort and that's a good save from McNara. Callum stands over the free kick and this is the goalkeeper to make a save. I'm sure it was dipping in. Ball out to Stephen O'Halloran. He will play the ball into Walker. He cuts it back and the shot comes in from Daniel Sleeth and that's a good save from Howe. Kyle Patterson, substitute for Nuneaton Town. Looking for the run here of Sleeth, who goes into the area. Manages to turn McNerney, and he will find Andy Brown. And Nuneaton do have one goal back here in the last minute, much to Aaron Howe's annoyance. It won't be a clean sheet for him today, which is a shame, because his performance has deserved one. Johnson doing his best to clear it off the line, but he couldn't make it. And Brown scores a consolation for the visitors. Here's Thompson Brown with the effort. And that's a good save from Howe. And that will be the final whistle. And um, Woking have picked up all three points here in style. They've absolutely hammered Nuneaton Town by six goals to one. A stunning performance.